guys and welcome back to yet another video in today's video we are focusing on module one lessons 13 and 14 where we're going to learn how to fluently subtract multi-digit whole numbers let's go ahead and get started by first using discs so this video is all going to be about how to subtract using discs here we go so you guys i have this problem and it's telling me to find the difference using discs i'm finding the difference between these two numbers 6625 and 4417. you guys i know that I, if i'm using discs the first thing that i need to do is put my numbers on my place value chart make sure you are using discs and not numbers so i already know my first number is going on which row is my first number going on my first row or is my first number going to go on my second row what do you guys think Yeah, that's right. It's going to go on my first row, you guys. Remember, it's very important that we do not put our first number on a different row. It has to go on our first row. And I know I'm always starting in my what place. What place value am I always going to start putting those discs in? Who thinks they remember? Yep, good job. In my ones. How many ones do I have? Good job. Five ones. One, two, three, four, five. How many tens? Good job. Two tens. One, two. How many hundreds? Good job. Six hundreds. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many thousands? Good job. Six again. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, you guys, now we're moving on to our second number. So really quickly, you guys, I know that I've placed my first number on my first row using discs. My second number tells me how much I'm taking away. I'll say it again. My second number tells me how much I'm taking away. So how many ones am I going to take away? Yeah, I'm taking away seven ones. So here's the fun part, you guys. In, th in today's lesson, you guys will get to use different colors to make it nice and colorful. And I'm going to pick a different color. And on my second row, I'm going to put the number of ones that I'm taking away. So you told me I'm taking away seven ones. So I'm going to put minus seven on my second row. How many tens am I taking away? That's right, I'm taking away 110, so put minus one. How many hundreds am I taking away? Good job, 400, so minus four. And how many thousands am I taking away? That's right, four thousands. All right, you guys, now it's time to find the difference. Remember, finding the difference means we are subtracting. So I'm always going to start back in that ones place. So looking at my ones place, you guys, I have five ones minus seven ones. Let's think about that for a second. Can I take away seven ones from five ones? Do I have enough? No, that's crazy. So check this out. Not enough on the top. Go next door for 10 more. Plop. So my ones is going to knock on the tens place door. And they're going to say, listen, listen, I don't have enough discs to take away seven. So can I borrow one of your tens? And that 10 is going to say, sure thing. So it, the 10 is going to give one of its tens to the ones. That means I'm going to unbundle you guys i know that if i'm bringing that 110 over to my ones if this were money how many dollar bills is equivalent to one ten dollar bill how many dollar bills would i need to make one ten dollar bill yeah ten dollars so i know that if one if i'm bringing over 110 that means i have 10 ones so count with me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now, you guys, I have five ones plus the 10 ones I just brought over. How many ones do I now have? That's right, 15. Now, can I take away seven from 15? I absolutely can. Let's go ahead and take away seven together. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. How many discs do I have left? That's right, eight. Now let's move to our tens place. I have one ten, because remember that one, t one of the tens was brought over to my ones place. So I have one ten left minus one. What's one minus one? Yeah, easy peasy, zero. So put zero at the bottom. Now let's move to our hundreds. I have six hundreds minus four hundreds. Can I do it? Absolutely. Let's go ahead and take away four hundreds. One, two, three, four. How many hundreds do I have left? Good job, two hundreds. And now I'm in my thousands. Six thousands minus four thousands. Can I do it? Absolutely. Let's take away four thousands. One, two, three, four. How many thousands do I have left? Good job, two thousands. Don't forget your comma. Let's try another problem. In this problem, we are still finding the, oh, that should say difference. We're still finding the difference, you guys, using these two disks. My first number is 17,525. Remind me, what row is this first number going on? My first row or my second row? Yeah, it's going into my first row, starting in my ones place. How many ones do I have? Yep, five ones, count with me. One, two, three, four, five. How many tens? Good job, two tens, one, two. How many hundreds? Good job, five hundreds, count with me. One, two, three, four, five. How many thousands? Fantastic, seven, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And how many ten thousands? Good, just one. Now remind me really quickly, you guys, what does this second number tell us? Hmm, what does this second number tell us again? I'll give you a hint. It tells us how much we are what? You read my mind. How much we're taking away. So how many ones does Miss Turner have to take away? Good job. Two ones. So I'm going to put minus two. How many tens does Miss Turner have to take away? Good. Zero. Minus zero. How many hundreds does Miss Turner have to take away? Good job. Minus seven. How many thousands does Miss Turner have to take away? Yep, three thousands, so minus three. How many ten thousands does Miss Turner have to take away? Good job. One, th one ten thousand. Now it's time to start subtracting. Remember, I always start in my ones place. We know this by now. So let's look. I have five ones minus two ones. Can I do it? Can I take away two from five? I sure can. One, two. How many ones do I have left over? Good job. Yeah, three ones. Now let's look at my tens. Two tens minus zero. Can I do that? Can I take away nothing from two? Yeah, I can. How many tens would be left if I'm taking away nothing? Absolutely. I would have two tens left over. Now let's move to our hundreds. Five hundreds minus seven hundreds. Can I do it? Can I take away seven from five? No. So remember, not enough on the top. Go next door for 10 more. Plop. That hundred said, hey, thousands. 
let me borrow one of your thousands. So the thousand said, sure. So how many hundreds am I now going to draw here? Because I'm unbundling. Think about it. How many discs am I going to draw? That's right, I'm drawing 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because remember, thousands is 10 times as much as hundreds and I'm unbundling. When we bundle, we draw one new disc. When we unbundle, we draw 10 new discs. So now how many hundreds do I now have? I started with five and I added 10 more. Yep, 15. Now can I take away seven? Yes. Let's go ahead and take away seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many hundreds do I have left? Good job, eight. Now let's look at my thousands. Remember, I gave one of my thousands to the hundreds. So now I only have six thousands left. What's six minus three? That's right, it's three because if I take away one, two, three, I have three left. So let's put a three at the bottom and then one 10,000 minus one 10,000. That's right, it would be zero. So we don't have to put a zero here. Instead, we've now found our difference. I want you guys to try this next problem on your own. Again, we are finding the difference. We are finding the difference of this number right here. So go ahead and pause your screen because we already know we have zero ones, zero tens, five hundreds, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven thousands. Fill in the rest of this chart. I want to know how much I'm taking away from each place value. Go ahead and pause the video. All right, you guys, how many ones am I taking away? Good job. How many tens? Good job. How many hundreds? Good job. How many thousands? Fantastic. All right, you guys. So I have all my numbers on and remember I have two, I have zero tens and zero ones for that first number. But I always have to start in my ones place. Zero minus three. Can I do that? Can I take away three from nothing? I most certainly cannot. So I'm going to go next door to my tens. Hey tens, can I borrow one 10? What is the 10 gonna say? Yeah, it's gonna say, I don't have enough. So what does the tens need to do then? What do you think the tens needs to do? Yeah, they have to borrow from the hundreds. So not enough on the top. Go next door for 10 more. Plop. So I know I have how many tens now? Because I borrowed 100. That's right, I have 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now is my ones able to borrow from my tens? Yes, not enough on the top. Go next door for 10 more. Plop. So my ones is borrowed one of the tens. How many ones do I now have? That's right, 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now I'm able to subtract 10 minus three. What's my difference? If I take away three, one, two, three, how many are left? Good job, yeah, seven. What about my tens? Nine tens minus nine tens. How many are left? 
If I take away 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's right, 0 are left. What about my hundreds? 4 hundreds minus 4 hundreds. How many are left? If I take away 4 hundreds, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's right, 0 are left. And what about my thousands? 7 thousands minus 2 thousands. How many would I have left? If I take away 2 thousands, that's right, 5 thousands would be left. Don't forget your comma. Good job, you guys. In the next video, you're going to learn how to subtract by using the standard algorithm.